something different today. I am not playing Pokemon Stadium. I am playing WWF No Mercy on the N64. Uh, I've been, I was playing it like a couple months ago. I put up like a video or two on my YouTube channel, uh, the lab with Meth Rollins on YouTube. Um, but uh, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get a Twitch in the first place was so that I could stream some of these older uh, THQ wrestling games. And, uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So probably gonna go, probably gonna warm up first with an exhibition match um, because it's been a while, and this is a game that requires a lot of. Um, a lot of skill, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna warm up a little bit here. Settings look good. Yeah, in my YouTube video, I did the European Championship challenge with Eddie Guerrero. And we ended up uh, getting the belt. It wasn't easy, but uh, we ended up doing it. Alright, I will take, um... <laughs> I'll take Kane. I always love that darker. I will always love this attire on Kane here. Pretty sick. Yeah, we're gonna roll with that one. And we'll face Mankind. Should be a good little warm up match here. Get me back into the swing of things. These entrances are pretty decent. They don't show them coming all the way to the ring like they did in WrestleMania 2000. But I still think it's alright. This is Wolf's baby boy. And cat. I love the way they do that. I love walking animation. I'm away from the ring. Alright, here we go. Let's see how rusty I am here. Wait! Hey, man, I'm start off taunting me. Oh, he lured me in. Yeah, the AI is actually kind of smart in this. They will, they will lure you in, and then they'll take advantage, also. I gotta remember the controls, the reversals. Should be a pro after one match, so don't worry about it. Okay. I wonder if I hit start, if it'll tell me. Nope, okay. I'm do it the old-fashioned way, so L backs up. Our appears to be able to block strikes. Great! Ready? Mankind's gonna stay out of the ring while I have this. 
Davis. I didn't know they had that in here, to be honest. That was a nice little, um, I don't know if you want to call that an Easter egg or what. Championship. Alright, we'll do championship mode. So, we're only 16% done with the European Championship. Which means there are many paths we can go down and complete it. Um, I think maybe we can go through it as the title title holder, I believe, but I'm not completely sure. So, I might go after the Intercontinental this time around. I always like this IC title. We got options here. Now I'm curious. For the light heavyweight, it may seem obvious that you would have to pick a light heavyweight superstar to challenge for it, but I just don't know if that's the case in this game. Let's try it out. Let's try going after the light. See, look at look, I could be the rock going after the light heavyweight title if I wanted to. But I'm gonna I'm gonna role play here and we're gonna pick a true light heavyweight. So I wonder who the title holder is. Is it Dean Malenko? When I think of the light heavyweight title, I think of Dean Malenko. Of course, we can't pick Crash Holly because he's 400 pounds. Well over 400 pounds. And that's even his weight in the game. That is awesome. Mark Henry, definitely can't do that. I guess I could take a female superstar. Um... So what are the requirements for a light heavyweight? Because Dean Malenko is 212. Takamichi Noku? He could be in the running. S.A. Rios, perhaps? Okay. Hmm. Could always grab X Pac. Scotty Too Hotty, I believe a former light heavyweight champion. So I mean we've definitely got options here. I'm just curious who the champion is currently. I might take S.A. Rios here. It's that might be who we go with. It's I'm tempted to take maybe like a Christian or a Jeff Hardy. It's it's you know what, I'm going to take Scotty too, Hardy. We're going to return Scotty back to glory. Qualifying match to be number one contender. It is Dean Malenko. Someone will compete tonight to become the number one contender for the light heavyweight championship. Will 
it be? That was a short promo. Since we have four superstars competing for the number one contender spot, we will have a four-way match. Seems logical. One of these four superstars will be you, Scotty. Well, all right. Let's go get this could be kind of a difficult match. Oh, Grandmaster Sexe is in this match. And European Champion Eddie Guerrero. There are no set requirements to win this match. The story will progress whether you win or lose. However, the story will change accordingly. That's what I love about these. Non-linear. Scotty and uh, Grandmaster are going to come out together. to this song. What is that guy saying? I never knew. Alright. I shouldn't have skipped all the entrances. I would have loved to see if Eddie came out with the European title. Probably not. But... Okay, so you can face different people by pressing right on the C-pad. This is not going to be easy. This may be a long what is the four in the top of the... Is this a battle royal? Or battle royale? Because, uh... If that's the case, uh, this, this would be a little bit easier. Because the computer would be less likely to interrupt submissions and pinball attempts. I don't know, we'll see. being in between all these guys here. Toughest dog in the fight right now. I love my tag team partner, Grandmaster. I think he'd be helping out a little bit here, but nope. <laughs> Every man for himself. No politics, and we can't work out some kind of deal to be the last two here. Nice little setup move to the worm there, but I don't have my finisher charged. I'll have to remember that. Why is that Scotty Strong grapple way roll up schoolboy? Let's get it on, Grandmaster. See that seamless transition into that chokehold? It's hard to build momentum with uh, Scotty Too Hotty so far. Oh! Backdrop. Somebody here. There we go. High risk maneuver here. Oh no, we got up. I feel like I'm putting together some de decent offense, but ooh. It's hard to get momentum going. I might have to do some taunts. Hesitated there and it came back to haunt me. One. Hi, 
pirate. Let's make some taunts in here. Oh no! Should probably make sure they're down for a little bit longer before I start taunting. Disqualification. I can't look at the match rules. Don't remember if this DQ was on. You would think it wouldn't be in a match like this, but uh, yeah, I just don't know. Oh! Missed wildly. I do some damage on the outside of the ring here. Isolate Grandmaster. I miss how Jim Ross used to say Grandmaster Sexy. Grandmaster Sexy. And he whoops my button and gets back in the ring, but I'm saying not so fast. I'm gonna moonwalk on you real quick. That taunt gave me the biggest momentum boost of the match so far, out of everything I've done. It's just hard to string together attacks. Oh, just out of reach. Come here, you. There we go. ugly business behind us. Ooh. Nice job evading that attack. The Grandmaster. I love his HUD name down there. Just sexy. Break. There is pro break, so there probably is no Q, right? If there was rope break on, but no DQ, what do you want, Taka? If there was rope break, but no DQ, then there's no rope break, right? Because what's to stop somebody from, you know, uh, hanging on to a submission when someone gets the rope break if there's no disqualification? Right, some good damage on Grandmaster Sexa here. If I can successfully get to this finisher, we might be able to eliminate him. Careful that. Oh no. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Taunting is the name of the game. You gotta keep taunting. Not only does it gain your momentum, but it drains the opponents. Look at that unnecessary tip up. Okay. Scotty's finisher there. Okay, so it is elimination, it looks like. Oh, uh, Eddie prevented me from doing my special. Alright, well, I'll let the two of them uh, hash out their differences and I will uh, pick the bones. Looks like Grandmaster's just gonna chill on the outside of the ring and taunt. Ooh! Great maneuver by Guerrero. I'm gonna try to steal the pinfall. One! Two! I don't know if I wanna get, the, get that pinfall though and then be alone with Eddie while he's on the verge of getting a finisher. He's pretty close now. I should team up with Taka actually. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Come on. Oh, Eddie's just not having it. When someone's momentum's hot like that, they are, um, they're tough. Momentum is huge. Yeah, I was worried that Eddie was gonna come, come at me with that special. He is definitely the biggest threat in this match. Can't pin on the outside of the ring. Gotta do it inside. Oh, I've got a fan. 
finisher ready. Oh! Eddie beating up on Grandmaster. That's unnecessary. There it is. This might be a rope break, though. Maybe not. Alright, we did it. 1v1 here. It's 1v1 time. I'm a little nervous here. Guerrero is definitely the biggest threat. But we have a good momentum advantage, so... That's good. We just can't let him get going. We let Eddie get going, we're in trouble. I love that that's our strong grapple from the rear, the schoolboy. But we go over on it. World's strongest schoolboy. So that's a pretty convincing win to be the number one contender for the light heavyweight title. We eliminate everyone in the match. Scotty Too Hotty coming for throats out here. Instant replay of that vicious schoolboy. Vicious. If that wasn't a three count, the ref would have had to stop in and call off the match. Brutality. Hide the children. Vicious schoolboys here. Scotty Two Schoolboy. All right, that's enough. For you. How many how many angles of that schoolboy are they gonna show? How about that for a payday? 500 big ones. Who says being a professional wrestler doesn't pay? We'll save our progress there. Look at that instant save. No loading screen or anything. Champion Dean Malenko here to greet us. Maybe congratulate us. So you are the number one contender and you want a shot at this title? I got two words for you. Anytime, anywhere. Dean Malenko does not seem intimidated by Scotty Tuhati. Dean Malenko, I love that he's a man of few words in real life and in the game. Okay. Going over the rules here. There is disqualification. It's cooking. Okay. Normal single match rules apply. It's cooking. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are no set requirements to clear this match. The story will progress whether you win or lose. However, the story will change accordingly. It's cooking. Here we go. Wait. No entrances because we came up for the promo. If I was Dean Malenko, I'd be a little nervous. I mean, I just single-handedly eliminate. Oh my goodness, he's just going to work with those chops. Okay. Hey, he's the champ for a reason, right? He's evasive, too. Who's coming down to the ring? Is that Grandmaster? He better be here to help me. Sexy with the heel turn! No! <laughs> He's angry I eliminated him. Come on. Bring it on. I'll take you both on. Why did I think it would be so easy? The end of two pool we're witnessing. Oh, it's just so hard to overcome the odds when... You got two going against you. Oh, look at this reversal. Okay, how long is he going to stay in the ring? And I thought disqualification was turned on. I looked at the match rules. It totally was. Oh, Dean Malenko, so quick. He 
very fast. Okay. Nice scoop slam there. Gotta get these taunts in while we can. I love that moonwalk taunt because it creates some distance. Ah, ran into him at the wrong time. Break. Rope break. We're building good momentum here. I'm just grateful that Grandmaster didn't stay in the ring. I mean, there's no ref in here, so <laughs> there's nothing stopping him from just putting a beat down on me till he didn't want to anymore. Nice neck breaker. Yeah, we're close to a finisher here. Guess wrong. This is intense. for a high risk move, but Malenko is not staying down for long. Okay. Next time. We got a new finisher these days. No more worm, it's the pile dra or the power bomb pin combo. Ooh, he kicked out. He's the champ for a reason. We can hit another one, we might be good. No, Malenko grapples us. Oh, we almost got... We did! We got it off just in time! The special... One. The special was, like, off the screen. And he kicked out again! Dean Malenko refusing to do the job for Scotty Too Hotty here. It's all good. We can build to another finisher. We got pretty good control right now. We just can't let Malenko get momentum. I thought it was going to go out of the ring there, that would have been bad. Don't want to be out of the ring with Grandmaster out there. Scotty Ducati. This best uh, click outsider's impression. There. I like that Grandmaster has just been chilling out there. Malenko's in danger, so getting a finisher as soon as possible would be in our best interest. Swinging neckbreaker. Break. Oh no! Confused the hell out of Scotty there. Nice back drop. Nasty with those submissions, so oh, he's building momentum. Gotta get to this next finisher. It's a must. Ooh, why try going for the legs? Heavyweight champion Scotty Tuhati. Oh man. That was a fight through the interference. Mind you. That was a very polite civil interference, though. That could have been a lot worse.
Oh, snap, look at this! No way. Grand... <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> oh, man. Back it up, Rikishi. <laughs> We're getting the too cool dancing winning animation here. <laughs> this is so sick. Hit that worm, light heavyweight champ. Look at Grandmaster, man. Yeah, you didn't just try to screw me over or anything. You didn't interfere in my match. What are you talking about? That didn't happen. Holy cow, that, that was really well animated. That was really well animated. It's just so funny given the circumstances of what just happened in this story. Ah, <laughs> this game is ridiculous. <laughs> that was too funny. Howard Finkel? The Fink? Oh no. This match is ruled in no contest due to the interference on Sexe. So why did we continue the match then? Why'd you let me celebrate with Rikishi? Therefore, the World Wrestling Federation Light Heavyweight Champion is still Malenko! Big oof. Big oof. Well, I mean, why did we expect that it would be easy? It's never easy. Counterattack, part one. Sexay and Tonka, who interfered in the last match, are conspiring in some way with the champion. Why did I just bump into Taz? That was weird. We had a moment there, didn't we? But anyways, yeah. Sexay and Taka, who interfered in the last match, are conspiring in some way with the champion. Taka didn't interfere. Or would he have if the match went on longer? I don't know. Scotty found out and is ready for some payback. What are you doing here? What the hell do you want? So, let me get this straight. Scotty and Grandmaster are enemies right now, but they will still put their differences aside to dance with Rikishi in moments of celebration. Am I getting that right? Anyways, yeah, what are you doing here? What the hell do you want? I see you're looking for revenge. So you betrayed me, right? Well, say something. Oh! Kicked him right in the nuts. Right in the nuts. Okay. So we've got ourselves a hardcore match here. Hardcore single match in the parking lot. There are no set requirements to clear this match. The story will progress whether you win or lose. However, the story will change accordingly. So, so far, all three matches have had branching paths, whether you win or lose. So, uh, very cool. Yeah, let's get our revenge here. Let me get a weapon here. Let me take advantage of the fact that this is hardcore. Completely forgot how to pick up weapons though. Oh, well, Grandmaster sure as hell did it. See, it's some, it's something with the C pad. There we go. It's left on the C pad.
parking lot ground doesn't seem to uh, affect him too badly. Come on, I don't want bloodshed. How dare you dance with me and then the next week act like we're not okay. He's bleeding. I like me with the stop sign a lot better than you with the stop sign. Walk on this hater. Okay, we're back in control here. I think the more you use a weapon, the less your momentum meter will fill. Which is fair, I mean. One, Otherwise, what's to stop you from just beating the hell out of somebody with the same weapon all match? It's definitely looking a little worse for wear here. I love how important taunts are in this. They are everything. for that stop sign or are you going to he was inching his way towards the exit he's had enough of this and I don't blame him put the beat down on him not so tough now is he he still got a little fight in him though oh not the pile driver and the kip up Scotty ain't playing around here I can't believe the Fink came out and ruled it a no contest. Howard Finkel, man. The OG. The GOAT. Alright, should have her finish her now. Getting to use it is a whole nother story. Power bomb on the hard garage floor is gonna be brutal. Should do it. One, two, three, pinball. One down. I guess Tak is on the list too. Though I personally have nothing against Taka. He didn't interfere in the match. It was all Grandmaster. I don't think he'll be coming out to celebrate with me and Rikishi anytime soon. We only got four hundred dollars for that one. Counter attack part two. Scotty could get revenge, but that wouldn't be enough. Oh man, this is getting dark. He wants to search out another victim to inflict pain upon. The victim will be Malenko's tag team partner. He seems to be in a sports lounge. The plot thickens. Oh! Taco was having a martini at the bar and he got kicked in the nuts. For the nut kicking bandit at SummerSlam, too. Okay, hardcore single match in the sports lounge. This, too, we do not need to win. For, this, for the story to advance. Oh, nice. This is a straight out of the APA uh, old vignettes or whatever. They were always brawling here. Give me that pool stick. Oh! Awesome. Ooh, we're beating Taka up with this. Come on, we gotta make him bleed too. I love how confused. Oh, he's on top of the pool table. I wonder if you can put someone through that. Alright, let's find out. I'll bite. Oh, it's gonna be us! Oh, scoop slammed on the pool table.
Abdominal slam. Oh, through the pool table. I'm not paying for that. Take it out of my $400 paycheck. Ooh. That really cleared up a lot of space, though. Got that Aki. I would pay money for that Aki uh, bar sign back there. That's sick. I would love for this to be my own personal bar. This wrestling memorabilia and light up signs. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Damn, Taka just trying to enjoy a martini, and uh, I don't know how he got lumped into this revenge story because he was just in—he was just in the match. It's not his fault he was put in the Fatal Four Way match. He didn't uh, interfere. But like I said, maybe if the match would have went on longer, he would have came out. We'll just never know. Alright, Taka. Giving you the cue to go home, bud. That power bomb, though. And he's on danger, so this should be a wrap. Oh, a kick out! He must have extra health because he's drunk. Ooh, is that our secondary finisher? Oh shoot, I meant to go for the pinfall, but I accidentally dragged him up. I gave him a chance, I gave him a window of opportunity here. Get back into this one. Snap suplex, he actually just took the advantage here now, so... Oh my goodness, I have to be careful. Matches can uh, change in a heartbeat. Oh, Taka missed wildly there. Put him right on his arse. Oh, I needed to pick up that. Little stick. Forgot how to talk for a second there. Flip him over. I'm trying to pick it up again. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be using that anymore because it seems to be not beneficial momentum wise. So, just do attacks and taunt. That seems to be the recipe. Boy, Taka is, uh, he must be drunk the way he's messing. That must not have been his first martini we saw him sipping on. Okay, we're getting there. We're building a little momentum here. Smooth slam. A few punches for his trouble. Wash, rinse, repeat, man. Whatever we gotta do. It's personal for some reason. Oh, are we gonna go over on this? Pin attempt. Pin ball. Oh, that was a cool little animation from Taka there. He was like, what happened? I got beat? I was in this. Yeah, that was cool. That was fun. Dropping a lot of frames, supposedly. Uh, if anyone is in the chat right now, let me know if uh, the video quality is okay. Because I will change something if I need to. Let me know. It seems alright on my screen, but um, it's giving me feedback that is saying otherwise. It's cooking. Another four hundred dollars. If you ever want to get in a barroom brawl, just know it pays four hundred dollars. Alright, chapter five here. 
advantage. I like the sound of that. Here comes the champ. His posse has been ran through. Scotty, it seems that your next target is me. Just bring it. Here comes Scotty prancing out. I love that he's just been this badass backstage, but he's still prancing out. What a troll. Scotty's trolling. You are really stupid. You came all the way out here just to be beaten? Well, here's a little surprise for you. Hey guys, come on down here and greet our friend. No! Grandmaster Sexa, he's still here. Even after that parking lot beat down, he's still got enough energy to dance. And Taka? He doesn't at least have a hangover? What is this, three on one? So there's no disqualification in this one, gotta remember that. Okay, so the only requirement this time is to win. Don't really like my odds here. I think the best bet would be to uh, leave the ring, if I could remember how to do it. Although we seem to be doing alright so far, but um, usually in matches like this I like to escape the ring so that I have uh, more room to operate. How do you leave the ring? I thought it was would be the same way you pick up a weapon, which is left on the C-pad, but it doesn't appear to be the case at all right now. Oh, see, this is what I'm afraid of here. If I can't get out of the ring, then uh, I have zero chance of winning this. Zero chance. Okay, it's up on the C-pad. Alright, good. You guys can taunt all you want, I'm gonna taunt out here. But they're taunting twice as much as me, because there's two of them in there, so... I'm not really gaining any momentum from this either. Come on, somebody get out here. Can't get a weapon from under the ring. I'll have to get one from the fans. That's an intimidating sight in there. They both got their finishers. Here comes Taka. Oh my goodness, I couldn't get that attack off. Yeah, this one's gonna be over quick. I think that was Grandmaster's finisher right there, that neck breaker. You would think that, you know, they'd grapple one another by mistake or something, but nope. Oh, we had a good run. Get out of here. Was Taka doing Grandmaster's dance there? Did anyone else see that? Damage on Taka here. Every time in one of these championship modes, there comes a point where you have to do a handicap match, it seems like. And uh, I did one in the European title match, but it was in the parking lot, so I could I could do pinfalls anywhere, and it was, it was a lot uh, it was a lot easier than this is going to be, where you have to do a pinfall in the ring. Maybe I can at least get some momentum going here. Here comes Grandmaster to the outside. Oh, a 
low blow. And they're tagging out on the outside here. See, while one is just taunting me in the ring, it's just draining my momentum. to get in the ring and do some taunts. My, oh, I guess not. Just gonna stay in the ring and just see how, see how things go. I'm uh, badly beaten up already. The AI seems too smart in this to let itself up for a mistake. So, just stay constantly on the offense might be the best course of action. Constantly be grappling or throwing a strike. If I'm constantly starting an animation, maybe it'll be harder for them to gang up on me, but unfortunately, they're going to counter some things. You're not going to get away with uh, the spamming. Overall, we're not doing the worst. We have momentum, but it goes so quick. Ooh. Oh, good move by Grandmaster there. I really needed to capitalize there, and I didn't. Oh, they both taunt me at once, and I'm just groggy. Not looking good for Scotty Too Hotty. I only have two what? continues, so this might be all she wrote. Now, how did he get that off? I, I initiated that grapple before him. I must have been just a hair too far away when I started or something. Just get it over with if you're going to win. Uh, it's like, what, what was the point of those backstage assaults then? I didn't get revenge. They're both still here. And if you're Taka, then Scotty is the bad guy in this situation. He didn't even interfere. Ugh. My momentum's too low to even do moves. Comeback. This game's built for the comeback. Here we go, we're heating up. Oh, that counter, no. I needed that comeback. Back to getting pummeled. Everything now. This is not good. Yeah, there's still rope breaks, but no disqualification, so. Not looking good. Wow, not even a one count there. Oh, come on, Taka just easily sidesteps my running shoulder block. Taka holding up. Okay, 
Taka throwing me out there. They're probably going to taunt me, drain some stamina. Just got splashed from the, to the outside of the ring. I can't believe I'm still in this. This has been an all-out whooping. Are what are what's killing me? Oh, I got a finisher. But can we hit it? Oh, we hit it on Grandmaster. It's gonna get broken up. On Taka. One. No, only a one count on Taka. Oh, that was our that was our moment there. Wow. I thought maybe for a second there was hope. Us. Uh, didn't wasn't able to look at Taka, but I guess it worked out. I'm like so focused right now. I'm so on edge. I really want to win this. We got another finisher ready to go. Oh, we might not be able to taunt and get it now. Come on. No, Grandmaster. job at staying on me oh my goodness just wasn't able to grab one that was a waste total waste total waste that's frustrating right there Woo, this has been a long match here over 10 minutes here I feel so deflated to come up empty now after over 10 minutes. I think I would just, I would just call it. Getting taunted on the outside of the ring is not where you want to be. That drains momentum faster than anything. I rate, do what you got to do, baby. Scoop slam for everyone. You get a scoop slam. You get a scoop slam. Everybody gets scoop slams. Headbutt to the groin. It's become one of our signatures at this point. I am so surprised that I'm hanging in here. We get one power bomb off. Will Taka interrupt it though? One, two, three. He didn't interrupt it. He didn't break up the pin. We did it. Oh my god! I can't believe I won that. Oh, that was so frustrating. It took over 11 minutes, which is forever in No Mercy time. Oh my goodness. I hope people are in here that to see that. That was uh, that was great. Holy cow. Scotty too hotty. Oh, of course, we're friends again for the celebration. Those are the rules. Remember, we have a peace treaty for any time I win. I will never skip this animation. I will always watch this. Ooh, look at the polygon count on that rear. So good. So good. It's cooking. Oh man. 600 bucks for that one. That's our biggest payday to date.
as it should be. So I'm definitely going to save the game after that one. And hopefully now we get a fair title shot. Chapter 6, Last Battle. This is the Survivor Series. Scotty Tuhati has been a warrior for the last couple months here. Come on, Dean. You gotta give me a fair shake at it now. You gotta. Okay, you've defeated two opponents. You've got your title shot. Fair and square? But this match will be by my rules. We will have a ladder match. Oh my god, you guys. I have not... I don't know how to do a ladder match. Well, I'm guessing I'm gonna learn today. Okay, so you have to win this one, but I have three continues. Okay, let's go get that ladder. Oh, I don't like him taking it from me right off the bat. Oh, I guess you can't defend against it either. pad to climb the ladder. And then I guess you have to do like attacks on the ladder when someone else is climbing it to knock them down. Ooh, that's a good strategy. Get them out of the ring, throw them out of the ring, and then climb. Okay. Let's take a... Let's, uh, let's beat them down. Let's treat this like a normal match here. Nope. Pin no pin attempt, Scott. Uh, confidence low. Train his uh, momentum. The ladder's in a good spot, so we want it to stay there. We don't want to spend too much time finagling with it when your opponent's down. Then once I'm up the ladder, how do I reach for it? Probably up again? Or will it just automatically do it? Ooh, that's a big counter there by Dean. Oh, power slam. Shades of Brandy Orton there. Okay. Great shape. Shoot, I forgot schoolboys are power grapple from the rear. I'm just tapping A, or tapping up on the C pad repeatedly. Oh, I didn't get it! How did I not get it? He was out for so long. 
Alright, back to the drawing board. Couldn't, couldn't get past that ladder there. I guess it would be too easy if you could just climb it right away and get it, but... I felt like Dean was down forever, though. Oh my goodness, he's a countering machine here, too. Just like that, he's taking charge of this match. I hope I didn't weaken it for him, so now when he climbs, it's gonna come down easy. Maybe I wasn't tapping fast enough either. I was being pretty, uh... Pretty timid about it, or whatever. I gotta take control of this match. I rig for your trouble. Damn, I'm gonna moonwalk after that. Swinging that break. Oh, I knew that counter was coming sooner or later. on the verge of coming back into this one. Oh, another counter, my goodness. He's getting hot, I don't like this for us. I think we weaken that belt for him. Now he's gonna finish us, go up there and snag it right away, watch. But, ah, no, I knew that was risky. Oh, he's climbing. Come on, come on, come on. No way. Are you kidding me? We did weaken it for him. You got it. That is so dumb. We did all the work, and he, we were up, and we just couldn't tip it over. Yeah, I'm retrying that one for sure. It's cooking. That was so lame. Alright, so no matter what, your first attempt, you're probably not going to get it. Damn, he's good at taking that ladder. Well, at least bring it in the ring, Dean. Come on, we both need that. Maybe I could get away with it. Also, Demolinko's tough on here. He just, he's a countering machine. He is a great technical wrestler, so it's nice to see that his No Mercy character is uh, true to that. What's that move called when Seamus does that? The battering ram or whatever? He does 10 of those little chest beats. Damn, Slingo is whooping us. Maybe we'll, we'll roll reverse here and have him do all the work getting the title down. We'll swoop in and get it the next time. Yeah, he's putting the, We're on danger. He is kicking the living crap out of us. Pile driver, the great equalizer. Ooh, right on the ladder. I didn't let him set that up, but whatever. I'm trying to get back into this. Not been able to hit him with the ladder once yet. Oh no, we reversed our strong grapple. How? He was in the middle of his own grapple animation. Dean Malenko is insane right now. And now we're busted open. Fuck up the ladder and then says, screw you ladder. Goodness gracious. He, I don't know how many moves he's reversed, but 
There's not a whole lot we can do against that. Oh my goodness, if we could just get one hit with this ladder off. We're really beat up on the outside here. He has a finisher. Ready to go. Wrong being can't get around the ladder. Oh my goodness, I knew that was going to happen, but what could I do? Just look at him forever? Is that his finisher? A pinning combination? Could have been worse. Settle down for a moment now, Dean, so we can... I just can't confidently attempt a move on him, because he's just countering everything. He's one of those guys where you can't fall behind early in the match, because he's just... Once you gain momentum, it's just so hard to land an attack on him. Again, he takes the ladder. Every single time he's taken the ladder from him. Ugh, this might be another L. And I don't mean ladder. Why does he get a I guess he is the champion, but... can't do any attack on him. I'm starting to get heated over here. I'm starting to get frustrated. We're going to see me rage on the stream. We've got another finisher ready to go here. I've just been a punching bag for him this match. Gotta get the momentum back, one way or another. Seems to be countering all the ladder attacks and all the running strikes, so... Back to the fundamentals, maybe. That's right, scoop slams and eye rakes. Occasional pile driver. Damn it, Scotty. Why did we have to get flashy there? No, oh, these taunts while we're on the outside of the ring are killer. Whew. I did not expect to be working this hard today when I decided to stream this. Oh, wow. Even when we do get a counter off, he counters our counter. Even with the full meter, we still can't get our attacks off. Ladder is nicely positioned. No! Sorry for being loud, but how did he counter that? Oh, we couldn't even grab him. Infuriating. So infuriating that was. Oh my goodness, what is he on legendary difficulty? We can't do anything to him. Oh, he's gonna climb it. How does he get it down instantly? How does he get it down instantly? And we were up there for so long in the first match and I couldn't bring it down. We're winning this. We're winning this. I don't care. I don't care how many attempts I have to do. We're winning this. Fight! The only bad news is I only have so many attempts. I think I have one more retry after this. But, okay, we can't start off slow. Dean Malenko is a countering machine. He's just such a great technician. In real life and in the game. So, if 
if we get behind, although we're looking pretty technically sound here in the early going, but if we let him get momentum, it's over for us. We're just not going to be able to land any attacks. You going to get the ladder? I'll let you. I'll let you bring it in. Hey, we're able to use the ladder. Okay, set it up nicely there. See? Now I'm worried, though, because... Malenko can just, like, go up and grab it. We can't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But, clearly... The first time I went up there in the first game, which is the only time I've ascended the ladder. Oh, here we go. Malenko's on that BS. He's back on the reverse in BS. Can't even grab him. He's a slippery devil, this one. End this early. Oh, but it's a pinning combination, which is not good for us, actually. Why is he not grabbing it? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Somebody please help. Please send help. How to do a ladder match, clearly. Is it just not set up properly? It has to be right under the championship, like perfectly under. I can't really think of it. Malenko, get up. You gotta stay on the attack on this guy. You know that by now. Good old fashioned headlock there. Nope, ran right into his uh, attack there. Oh, but we're. Fighting like a light heavyweight, all right. Yeah. Come here, you. Oh my goodness, we can't grab him. There we go. Please let us be able to grab this here. I supposed to be tapping here. We got it. We got it. You got it. Oh my goodness. Talk about just rage. My blood was boiling. So I think it okay, I think what it was is the ladder needs to be perfectly positioned under the title. And then once you hit up on the C pad here to initiate reaching for it, then you don't tap the up on the C pad repeatedly, you tap like A and B, like if you were like being pinned or in a submission and trying to get out of it. That's what I think the confusion was. That's why I wasn't able to get it down after it was up there for so long. So, okay, light heavyweight champion, finally did it. Um, not sure how long into the stream I am right now. Over an hour, an hour and 20 minutes to be exact. But we did it, so bring Grandmaster down, bring Rikishi down, bring Taka down. Let's have our group celebration. Wow, oh my goodness. I feel like I need a cigarette after that one. I don't even I don't even smoke. Oh man. 
glad that's over, to be honest. Those last two matches were brutal. The handicap match and then the ladder match. Cheers to Dean Malenko. A worthy adversary. But in the end, the cream always rises to the top, brother. 720, look at that payday. Tonight, there is a new light heavyweight champion. It's Scotty. Please give them a round of applause. Congratulations, Scotty, and thank you for playing the game. The journey starts here. Oh, don't that look good on the shoulder, Scotty, too high. I love it. We are in that one. Congratulations, now you've become the light heavyweight champion, but in order for you to remain the champion, you must endure all difficulties that are placed before you. We have faith in your ability to succeed. Well, that's very nice of you, No Mercy. You did it. Wasn't easy, but we did it. Pretty nice payday there. Made over three Gs there, so... Not too shabby. And now we get some credits, so thanks for the two of you that made it out to view this. Uh, keep this up for a while for anyone else to view, but uh, yeah, I want to stream more... Not just WWF No Mercy, but just old uh, THQ wrestling games in general. Maybe not even the THQ ones, but I do want to get into the SmackDown series for sure. Um, definitely want to stream some of the PS2 ones in the future. Uh, maybe do like a long series stream. Um, kind of like how I do on YouTube. I have the SmackDown Here Comes the Pain season mode series that I was doing. Um, I'd like to do one for Shut Your Mouth, maybe. Um, and I'd also like to keep doing more of these. I'd like to go through all the championship modes. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, that did turn out. And, uh, you know, I will definitely be back with more No Mercy and more in the future. Brother for real. Good Brother music. For real. I let this play out for a little bit here. Nice little outro theme. That's it for me for today, but uh, yes, I will be back with more for sure. Don't forget to follow.